Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your number one hot sauce guy coming to you. Entry number eight, super hot spoonful series. That is Gator Hot Sauce by none other than uh, Pucker Butt. Uh, this guy looks really good. Just picked this up. Uh, just saw this. Was kind of interested in it. Um, they came out with that chocolate bar, you know, that we did uh, with the Pepper X in it. Uh, this has Pepper X Pepper Mash which includes chili peppers and vinegar, yellow super hot pepper mash, which includes chili peppers and vinegar, distilled vinegar, and uh, pepper powder. So, um, really intrigued by this. Um, it's a gorgeous looking sauce, so I mean, you can see, it's very thick, you can see all the seeds in there, um, so I just, based on that, I have a feeling this is gonna be super hot. What I like about it is that coloration. It doesn't have that Carolina Reaper coloration where it's just like blood red, you know? Um, so that's that's kinda of helping me out. I don't know how hot this is gonna be, but again, this is uh, entry number eight in the Super Hot Spoonful series. Uh, I just got done working a couple basketball games. Wanted to get a little burn on tonight. Uh, looks really kind of really thick I mean you can see that some stain at the top but so you can see it's it's more like a mash than a sauce it's just really thick nonetheless I was very intrigued with this when it when it just had as a, as a super hot Ooh, yeah very pepper forward. All I can smell is peppers. Um, it's very pepper heavy. I mean, a little vinegar in there because it makes the nostrils kind of perk up, kind of gives you a little, a little tang to it. Um, but yeah, that's just going to be very pepper forward, but it has a nice little label on it. You know, um, very nicely done. So let's see what we're messing with here. Ooh, pours nice, pours real nice. It's not super, super thick, but not super runny. Almost perfect, really, to tell you the truth. Um, ooh, spin a little bit. Can you see that? I'm trying not to spill it, but got a nice little coloration to it. I love the coloration of this sauce. It reminds me of a habanero sauce with uh, orange habaneros. Um, you know, to me, it smells stronger out of the bottle. The, the, the heatness and the smell that I'm getting from, you know, from just the, the whiff of it doesn't smell as intense uh, as scary or as hot um, from the spoon as it does from the bottle from the bottle it's almost just like it's resonating up through the bottle you know here it's breathing a little bit but I wish I had a better system I wish you guys could really I don't know if I can get too close but yeah you can't really see but some of the pepper chunks in this, I mean, it's full seeds in this, you know? Um, there's some red pepper flakes, almost reminiscent of um, red pepper you'd put on a pizza or uh, something like that, uh, but almost more of like a, uh, an oriental chili pepper of, of some kind. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is entry number eight, I believe. Shit, I was supposed to check before, but I think this is number eight in my Super Hot Spoonful series. Um, and since I got this and, and, and heard about it and added it to it, which was about three or four sauces ago, I've been looking forward to this. So, nonetheless, here we go. Let's try it. That is uh, hmm. giving me the hiccups. 
That's really good though. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Trying to absorb it. It's pretty strong. Definite tongue burn, uh, almost more than anything. It's, it's building, the heat is building pretty good. <sighs> yeah, that's a new, uh, That's a new one for y'all. This is super hot. Whew. No doubt about it. Pure pepper. That's all I'm getting. Uh, it's almost like eating a pure, super hot pepper. Um, maybe a Reaper. Uh, uh, Death Spiral Red. Um, Butte Chocolate. Uh, just any of those hybrid peppers out there that are in the super hot category. It's almost like eating one or two of those fresh. Maybe one, right? Two's too much. That one spoonful is not as hot as two as some of the, you know, our reapers. No. Um, but, you know, eating like one of those peppers, pure, raw, but adding some kind of liquid to it, right? Um, it's probably even just as hot or on the heat scale. So not water, not nothing just to add, add a liquid, but something else is gonna produce heat. It's almost what this, these are like, uh, these super hot sauces, and this is definitely there. Very, very pepper forward. Very hot. Um, something there. Um, I mean, it, like again, pepper X mash, chili peppers. That's that red chili pepper that I was talking about, almost like an Asian pepper. It's that chili peppers, vinegar, yellow super hot pepper mash, distilled vinegar, and pepper powder. So, um, Yeah, there's no kind of fruit in there. There's no kind of vegetable. There's just no kind of garlic, <coughs> sweetener, or anything. Um, but again, I'm on an empty stomach. That is phenomenal. Um, really good sauce. I'm enjoying that. So. Again, thank you guys for watching. Just keep this video short. That's entry number eight, super hot spoonful series. Got a couple more to come, and then uh, we'll diagnose it, get it a one to X rating, and and see what burnt me the most. So again, thank you guys for watching. Number one hot sauce guy. Appreciate it.